Hey subbies, I am super excited to share with you my library haul for January 2022 and I am super excited to share with you all of the books that I got and I'm really excited to be able to review each and every one of them. The first one is Number of the Stars by Lois Lowry. She is one of my favorite authors because she wrote the Anastasia Krumpnik series and a couple of standalone books about her brother, Sam Krumpnik. As the Germans start their campaign to relocate all the Jews of Denmark, Anne-Marie Johansson's family takes in Anne-Marie's best friend, Ellen Rosen, and conceals her as part of the family. Through the eyes of 10-year-old Anne-Marie, we watch as the Danish resistance smuggles almost the entire Jewish population of Denmark, nearly 7,000 people, across the sea to Sweden. The heroism of an entire nation reminds us that there was pride and human decency in the world even during a time of terror and war. This has been one of my favorite books that I've loved reading ever since I had first read it in 7th grade in middle school. If you haven't yet checked it out, I highly and strongly suggest that you do. It is a wonderfully written story. The next book that I have is a new book by B.A. Paris called The Therapist. I have loved a lot of her other books that I've read. They've kept me gripped and entertained from cover to cover, chapter to chapter, just the way I like my books. Nothing is deadlier than discretion. Alice and Leo have just moved in together to a gorgeous gated community in London. But when Alice tries to get to know their new neighbor, she discovers a devastating grisly secret about her new home and begins to feel a strong connection with Nina, the therapist who lived there before. Alice becomes obsessed with trying to piece together what happened, but none of her new neighbors want to talk about it. Soon it becomes clear to Alice that things are not at all as they seem. I love books like this that keep you guessing until the very end, as any good book should. And we have Harlan Coben, Gone for Good. As a boy, Will Klein had a hero, his older brother, Ken. Then on a warm suburban night in the Klein's affluent New Jersey neighborhood, a young woman, a girl Will had once loved, was found brutally murdered in her family's basement. The prime suspect, Ken Klein. With the evidence against him overwhelming, Ken simply vanished. And when his shattered family never heard from Ken again, they were sure he was gone for good. Now 11 years have passed, Will has found proof that Ken is alive. And this is just the first in a series of stunning revelations as Will is forced to confront the startling truths about his brother and himself. As a violent mystery unwinds around him, Will knows he must press his search all the way to the end because the most powerful surprises are yet to come. The Family Plot by Megan Collins At 26, Delilah Lighthouse is haunted by her upbringing. Raised in a secluded island mansion deep in the woods and kept isolated by her true crime obsessed parents, she is unable to move beyond the disappearance of her twin brother, Andy, when they were 16. After several years away and following her father's death, Delilah returns to the house where the family soon makes a gruesome discovery. Buried in their father's plot is another body, Andy's. His skull is split open with an axe. Delilah is quick to blame Andy's murder on the serial killer who terrorized the island for decades. While the rest of her family reacts to the revelation in unsettling ways, her brother Charlie pours his energy into creating a family memorial museum, highlighting their research into the lives of famous murder victims. Her sister Tate forges ahead with her popular dioramas portraying crime scenes, and their mother affects a cheerfully domestic facade, becoming unrecognizable as the woman who performed murder reenactments for her children. As Delilah grapples with her own grief and horror, she realizes that her eccentric family and the mansion itself may hold the answers to what happened to her twin. The Ones We Leave Behind by Delilah Lynn Sletton
Diane picks up her mother's phone. How do you feel about your mother being let out of prison today after 65 years? The reporter asks. Diane stared at her mother. My grandmother's alive? The one phone call hurled shockwaves through her entire family. 1955. Anne Bergman Crane's life changes in an instant when she commits a crime of passion and is sentenced to life in prison. Leaving behind two young children, she is left alone in the world, never to hear from family or friends again. Decades later, she is set free and finds she has a family that has chosen to forget her. What causes beautiful, intelligent young woman to commit such a drastic deed that would pull her away from everyone she loved? 2020. Diane Martin is shocked to learn that not only is her maternal grandmother alive, but she has just been released after decades in prison. Against her aging mother's wishes, she visits the older woman and sees and hears a tale of events that led up to the tragic day in 1955. Diane realizes that her own life has mirrored that of her grandmother's, and had circumstances gone differently that fateful day, she might have experienced the same fate. And the final book is The Duggars 20 and Counting. The Duggars 20 and Counting is a behind the scenes look at the supersized family that fascinates millions of television viewers around the world. From Idaho to Istanbul, people want to know how Arkansas parents Michelle and Jim Bob Duggar affectionately and lovingly manage their 17, soon to be 18, happy homeschooled children without going into debt or losing their minds. This is the Duggar's first book in, in an entertaining and enlightening collection of stories, photos, recipes, tips, traditions, and practical ideas designed to answer the questions of the curious, such as, why do you have so many children? How do you provide for your family financially? How do you handle mealtimes, transportation, laundry, birthdays? How are your children so well behaved? Why do all your children have names that begin with J? I am really excited to read this book and the sequel to it, and I am really excited to be able to do reviews on all of these wonderful books that I got from the library. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite books are to rent from the library. And do you prefer to rent your books or to buy them? I would love it if you would hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to turn on your post notifications so you don't miss out on any of my amazing, fantastic, wonderful, fun videos that I have to share. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I don't want you to miss out on any of them. I would love it if you would follow me on my social media. My Instagram is Comedy Creation. I love to share library hauls, book reviews, and fantastic food photos. Follow me on Twitter. My Twitter is Comedy Addict. I love to play hashtag games, but what I love even more is interacting with each and every one of you incredibly inspirational individuals. Your tweets mean the world to me, and I treasure every one of them. The newest addition to my social media is my Facebook page. My Facebook page is Papa Apple. I share my newest YouTube videos on there as well as book reviews, so be sure to give the page a like. All of my social media will be linked in the description box down below. I'd love for you to follow me. I can't wait to see you in the next video, subbies. Until then, sensational smiles go for miles. Be sure to subscribe and stay a while. See you in the next video. Bye.